What's up guys? It is Carly here bringing you something special today. Um, yes, for a change I'm going to be doing an unboxing video from a very good friend from the horror community and that is Derek aka DBougie86. Hopefully I said that correctly. If not, I am an idiot and I apologize. But yes, uh, Derek was kind enough to send me a big old box here of some movies. Um, I already opened the lid because I didn't want to look like a moron opening it on camera because it was pretty well taped up, but I didn't look inside or see anything that's in it or anything like that yet, so it is a total surprise, but um, he knows I'm kind of a noob still when it comes to horror movies because I only recently started to really collect and view different stuff um, just like two or three years ago, so I've seen a lot, but not nearly as much as some other people have, so he thought it would be nice to send me this stuff, and I really appreciate it. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get right on into this. Um, first up, we have a note that he has left with the package, and it says, Hey, Carly, if you are reading this, your pa package has made it to your doorway. Some different varieties in this box to move forward your movie viewing experience. Hope you enjoy the flicks. Let your movie watching begin. And thanks for being a friend and wicked awesome person. Well, thank you. Talk to you soon. Derek, a.k.a. the Boston Brando. So, very nice handwriting, by the way, Derek. Um, this is better than my handwriting, sadly. Um, but, yeah. Thank you very much, Derek. I'm really excited to get on into this. And I'm going to go ahead and start up right now. So I'm going to pull this out first because it is not a movie. It is actually a book called The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon by Stephen King. Uh, Derek actually asked me the other day if I owned this, which I did not. And honestly, I don't even know anything about this book. I don't know if this is... I'm assuming this is a newer book. Um, I could be wrong, though, but not too familiar with it at all. I've never even really heard anyone talk about this, so I'm very interested to go ahead and read it. It seems like a shorter Stephen King novel, so it'll probably be um, higher up on my list of things to read just because I tend to sort of like how I put my movies in order of the shortest to the longest. When it comes to books, I kind of put them in the same order, how many pages they have, so I'll probably end up reading this one sooner than later, so thank you very much. This is pretty interesting, and I'm gonna have to look into what this book is actually all about because, like I said, I don't really know anything about it. Next up, we have White Dog. Um, pretty cool cover. Oh, this is actually a Criterion collection, so thank you very much. Um, I don't own any Criterions because I am cheap, to be honest, and I really haven't been collecting many companies or anything like that. I just recently kind of started doing that, getting into Screen Factory and things like that, but I don't own any of these just because I know they are so much money and they are kind of the best quality, so I really appreciate this. This is a really cool cover. i uh, never heard of this film. Um, hmm, hmm. Seems like it has something to do with racism, so that is pretty interesting, and I'm very curious to check this one out. Next up, we have Just Before Dawn. I'm actually pretty excited to have this because this is a slasher, I believe, that I've always been kind of curious to check out because I think this is one, if I'm not mistaken, this seems to be one that some people have mixed opinions on. Some people like it, some people don't. But this is always one that I see floating around, and I've always been pretty curious about it, but I just hadn't gone around to picking it up yet. So really appreciate this one. This is probably one that I'll go ahead and check out first, uh, depending on what else is up in this box, but this is one that I'm very excited to own, so thank you again for that. Then we have The Deadly Bees. Um, I think this is one that Derek said he was going to send me a long time back, and I actually completely forgot about it, and I think he said he had two, he accidentally got two copies of it, so finally I have it, and uh, looks like an older movie from maybe the 60s, yeah, 1966. It is in color, though, and Seems pretty interesting, honestly. I uh, don't really know anything about it. It says, first there was the birds, now there's the deadly bees. Um, I do like the birds. I think it's kind of a, you know, slower movie, but that's to be expected for the time period. But I do think it's a pretty solid movie, so if this movie is anything along those lines, I'm sure I will enjoy it. So that is pretty cool. After that, we have Witchboard. Um, I'm pretty sure... 
I don't know if this is the same movie, but I think JP was talking about watching this a while back for whatever reason. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if this is the same movie or if it's a movie with the same title. I know he was watching a movie called Witchboard, but he has talked to about me, uh, talked to, uh, talked about it with me. Sorry, I am very bad at talking. Um, but I do not really know much about it. It actually looks pretty interesting and pretty spooky, honestly. So I am curious to check this one out. Like I said, not sure if it's the same movie that JP was referring to, but either way, pretty cool. Then we have the Black Cat, a blue underground release here. Um, uh, this is another one that I have been curious to check out just because I know a lot of people seem to talk about this one. This is well known in the horror community. I like this cover art as well. Um, don't really know much about this one either. Um, I just know a lot of people talk about this one. It is a Lucio Falci movie and honestly all the Lucio Falci films, which is like a grand total of three or four, so you know, kind of fake there, but all the movies I have seen him make so far, I have enjoyed, and dare I say it, I've liked his work more than what I've seen of Argento, just because Argento is very, uh, giallo heavy, and, um, I'm just not a big fan, but for some reason, I just find Falchi's films to be a little more interesting, and, uh, interesting to look at, and I get more engaged in the story, so I am very happy to own this, finally, because this is another one that I had been wanting to pick up and check out, but kind of just put it off just because it seems like for me uh, giallos and Italian films and things of that nature aren't really for me. I don't know if this is a giallo to be perfectly honest. I'm kind of a total noob when it comes to movies like that but either way pretty exciting uh, pretty excited to have this film as well. Next up we have hair extensions. Um, this is a pretty dope cover, honestly. I really like this. It's got that, like, um, I don't know what you call that, that clean sheer kind of look where it's, I don't know, reflect, reflection or whatever. Uh, I'm a moron. But, um, yeah, uh, this sounds pretty interesting. It looks like it's probably a pretty messed up flick, so I'm actually very curious to see what this is all about. Never heard of this movie or anything like that. Um, looks like it is obviously an Asian film of some sorts, but it uh, looks like it's probably pretty uh, fucked up. It says hair-raising horror on the back, so that is pretty awesome. Uh, I'm just very curious to check this out just based on the uh, cover and the title alone, so yeah, thank you once again, Derek, for that. Next up, we have Suicide Club. Um, I feel like Derek might have told me about this one. I can't fully remember because he uh, tells me about a lot of movies and sometimes they kind of run together in my head, but um, I know I definitely have heard of this one just by the title alone. Um, he might have even done a review of this one. I'm not, uh, once again, I have such a bad memory when it comes to keeping movies in track, but um, seems pretty interesting, honestly, just by the title alone, and like I said, this is definitely one that I have heard of, um, a wave of unexplainable suicide sweeps across Tokyo, uh, yeah, so this would definitely probably be right up my alley, just because I love weird shit like this, so, yeah, uh, thank you once again, uh, uh, this will probably be one that I check out first as well, just because I'm very curious about it, and then, lastly, guys, we have Dream House, um, this is, or Dream Home, sorry, um, this is an IFC Midnight release, which, um, I've seen Midnight's, I've seen, uh, a few of them now, and they're kind of hit or miss for me, some of them I've really enjoyed, and some of them I find to be kind of slow, or just not that interesting in story, but, um, you know, this seems pretty interesting, um, looks like it's also an Asian film, uh, she's found a perfect home, and it will be hers, no matter what, the cost, uh, just trying to read the cover, or the, uh, back here, Real quick, um, sounds like a pretty interesting, um, premise here. Sounds like something that would definitely be, you know, once again, up my alley. So I am pretty curious to check this one out as well. So thank you very much, Mr. Derek, uh, aka DBougie86. Um, I am very happy to own all these movies. These all seem like, uh, all seems like stuff that I will really enjoy, honestly. Um, you know, I'm not too familiar, once again, with, some of these films, most of these films, honestly, but some of them I was really curious to check out, and some of them just sound very interesting just based on the back and the covers and the titles, so I am super, super excited. I am also excited to 
get reading on the book because I am trying to read a lot more often now. Um, I'm in the middle of a book right now, but I'll probably get to that one next. So thank you so much. This is very highly appreciated and I am super excited to get into these films. So thank you, Derek, and thank you guys for watching. Um, I always like doing unboxing videos, especially when I don't know what's going to be in them. So if you enjoyed this video, you know, give it the old thumbs up and let me know in the comments and I will see you guys next time.